bag. Um, 24 minutes past six is the time. You may remember the last time we spoke to professional 10-pin bowler Verity Crawley. She was practising her skills in her parents' hallway with bowling alleys off limits, of course, because of the pandemic. So quite a bit has changed since then. And after returning to the US in March, she has just become the first British woman to win a professional title. Let's look at Verity in action. So there it was, the moment of celebration, and Verity has been competing again overnight, but we can catch up with her right now. Verity, good morning to you. Good morning, guys. How are you? Oh, very good, thank you. Just give us the update. Where, where am I speaking to you? What time is it? I, it is currently 1.30 in the morning, and I'm in Portland, Maine. OK, and you, uh, you were bowling last night? Yes, I was just bowling uh, live on Fox Sports, actually. OK, how did it go last night? I didn't win, but it was good. It was a lot of fun, um, really exciting atmosphere and a great experience. Now, the pictures we saw were of your first, you're, the, you're the first British woman to win a professional title in the US on the bowls circuit. Just talk us through what that was. Yeah, so that was the Professional Women's Bowling Association. Um, I've been competing on that since 2017. And this was my first professional title um, that I won on Saturday in Louisville, Kentucky. Well, congratulations, number one. Tell us about what you had to do to achieve the win. Thank you. So we bowl um, 12 games of qualifying on Friday. The top 32 women will make it through to Saturday. You then bowl another six games. Um, the top 12 then bowl another six games and after all of those games are complete the top four women bowl a stepladder final against each other so I was actually seeded in fourth place going into the stepladders I had to bowl number three seed I won that match I then bowled against the number two seed I won that match and then I bowled the number one seed and I won that match and came away with the win. Oh, fantastic. And do you, what do you get? Do you get a cup? Do you get some, some memento of some kind? So I get a trophy, I got flowers, um, and we actually get prize money. So there was $10,000 on the line for that. Now, we're seeing some big hugs and uh, a lot of joy there at the win. Tell me a little bit more about the bowling circuit in, in the US because it'll be new to a lot of people. Are, are you a rarity as a Brit who can bowl? So I'm the only female professional um, bowler that's out here right now on tour. There is a men's tour as well, and we have some um, British men that are on that tour. But in terms of the women's side, we have a lot of international players, um, and there's a lot of American players as well. I am the only British currently on the tour. And what about training? And the tour mainly runs, it mainly runs throughout the summer, um, and I actually have 10 events left um, for the rest of the summer. And tell me, Verity, what about training? What, what's, what's the thing do you do for, for training other than actually bowl? What do you do? Of course, bowling. Um, fitness is really important as well, as well as the mental game. But I spend a lot of time on the lanes working on my game. And it is so much more technical than anyone actually realizes. Um, there's so much more that goes into it than literally just going to your local bowling center and trying to knock some pins down. It, uh, it gets a little bit more technical when you get to my level. Uh, Verity, I'm, I'm fascinated by the mental side. Do you psych out your opponents in the, you know, give them a bit of the, the eyeballing as you're waiting to bowl? Personally, personally, no, but it's more about, you know, visualizing what I'm going to achieve, um, working on my self-confidence and meditation and all of that good stuff that you hear athletes do. Do you know what, uh, Verity? We wish you well. Congratulations. And uh, who may, hopefully it's one of many that you will uh, win now. So good luck. And thanks for staying up for us. Thank you very much. Good honour. Absolutely. Good honor. It's the kind of thing you don't think about as being, a, you know, like a, um, a sporting career. But there you go. There's